Welcome back to North of the Broad. Our guest is Judy Blayhut, who is with the Neighborhood Outreach Connection. And we're going to learn all about the connection, what they do, who they serve, and then we'll get into details about a specific important event coming up. So Judy, welcome. Thank you. It's so great to have you here. Thank you. And, and the work that you are, you're doing and the centers are doing are so important for our young people. So let's begin with really what does a Neighborhood Connection do? Well, Neighborhood Outreach Connection is a 501c3. We serve um, at-risk children and their families in their neighborhoods. So one of our distinguishing um, characteristics is that we have learning centers set up inside the neighborhoods where we've rented either an apartment or um, sometimes we buy an apartment or condominium. Uh, we have one center where we're actually able to use the community building mm -hmm. in that um, community. Mm -hmm. So the children, when they arrive home from school, can get off their school bus and, and attend right the there. center, have extra help with their homework. We also do reading support, language support, um, help their parents as well. NOC also does health, health screenings okay, for the, um, both for the parents and the children. Right. So it's a, um, it's a wonderful service. It, it's free of charge um, to the families. Wow. Yes. So most people don't know that you have six locations. So we do where have six are those locations. locations? We have two um, here mm -hmm. in, in Buford at uh, Parkview and Marsh Point, two in Bluffton at Simmons K and Avalon, and two on Hilton Head Island at the Oaks and Cordillo Courts. Right. And then again, how do you decide where the locations are? I mean, how do you? Um, as, yeah, as a team, I think yeah. as as a team, we look for locations where there's a pretty large population of at-risk children. Mm -hmm. Um, most of the children are um, English second language learners and their parents don't speak English. So we try to find the neighborhoods where we can serve the most um, children in a, in a radius so it, they don't have to rely on transportation other than getting to and from school. And so who is there? Are there volunteers? Are there teachers at these centers to help the kids? Yeah, so we have what we call, like to call a field team. And that, um, and that com is comprised of the um, program directors. So each center has a program director. And then with the program director are volunteers and between two to three teachers, depending on the size mm -hmm. of the program. The teachers are from the public school. And the ages of this, the students, mm -hmm. are they yeah. kindergarten to We high pretty school? much serve preschool oh, okay. um, all the way through eighth grade, we, we do serve high school students, mm -hmm. but most of our, most, the bulk of our students are preschool through fifth grade, and then um, the next population is the middle school. Not so many high school students. Okay, so you've got a big event coming up. Yes. On September the 13th, <laughs> yes. it's a golf event, and I love it, it says the annual golf event for F-O-R-E, <laughs> uh, teachers and students. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the event and, yeah. Where it is. Well, and it's a big year for us because it's our 10th anniversary. <laughs> oh, okay, great. And um, every year we have this golf event to specifically raise money for the learning centers. Okay. So that includes supporting the teachers that come to help every day and materials and, you know, things that we need to run the programs. And um, it's a yearly event. This year it's, it's a big deal. We're going to have it at Carlton River Club. Okay, I see that, right. Um, we have dinner afterwards uh, with D's guys for entertainment, <laughs> and everybody loves D's guys. And um, yeah, so I think it's going to be a really good time for a really amazing cause. And so uh, the cost is for golf and dinner of $300. $300. If you're just doing the dinner, it's $125. That's correct. And then again, all that basically is goes to the NOCs. Yes, it's okay. it, it's totally to the learning. It's just like it's, to each center. like I said, each center it gets divided between right. those. And and so, do you have a specific goal, or is that kind of yeah? Hush -hush? We'd really like to. <laughs> Our goal <laughs> would be seventy-five thousand to a hundred thousand dollars, but um, we can do as it. As far as we're concerned, we're grateful for yeah. anybody that comes out to support us because it's. Uh, it's one of those kind of organizations that is very heartfelt, and yes. the, the children so, that we serve are just, they're yeah. just amazing. There's so much need, you know, yeah, when we so live much. In, in this beautiful low country area with so much prosperity and so forth, and then we know that there are still so many young people that are 
hurting and in need of this sort of help. Right, and right. it's such an important, while they're in that neighborhood, yes. to get that, you know, that yeah, tutoring and is. a place to do their homework and the internet, you said earlier. Yes. Well, a lot of them don't have a internet. A lot of them don't have access to internet. And, right. and from third, I think in Beaufort County Schools, at third grade, they all get a tablet. Right. But they have to have, have the internet. internet to connect to that. Well, you know, you said that particularly in Beaufort, mm -hmm. and this, of course, is a Beaufort-focused uh, yes. program. So uh, talk about how, if, if I live in this Beaufort area, how I could become more involved. There's a number of ways. Um, we are always looking for volunteers at the learning centers. We're always looking for materials for the learning centers, including healthy snacks. We're also always in need of monetary donations. So right. any of those ways. and. Of course, if you're a golfer and you um, support our golf tournament, that would be right. even great if you have a business and you are willing to be a sponsor. Okay. Or even just a sponsor of NOC in general for, you know, throughout wow. the year would be a huge gift. And so if we want to be involved, if we want to mm -hmm. get involved as a, as a company or as an individual, it, what is the website? Well, our website Judy. is noc-sc.org and our phone number is 843-681-4100. Thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck on the tournament. Again, thank you so much for letting us oh, well, talk about our beautiful program. Well, appreciate the work and 10 years, congratulations. Thanks, thanks. Good job. Thanks. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad.